Now, if you know anything about Bradley Martin, you'd know that he doesn't know how to control himself. One specific time that I remember is when he had a little sparring session against Sneeko and actually tried to beat him up. The guy is just completely embarrassing and he's constantly talking about how he's 260, which he's kind of embraced as a joke a little bit now, so I respect that to some extent. But he was recently on a stream with two Fortnite streamers, Stable Ronaldo and Lacey. And obviously, if you're going to be around these guys, you should expect them to be joking around. But obviously, Bradley Martin is a strong, muscular man that he is, and he doesn't ever get offended by anyone because he's got so much testosterone that obviously he knows how to actually be a man and control himself. This guy freaked out after Stable Ronaldo took his hat. So I'm going to play the clip now. It is fucking embarrassing. That shit's funny. That shit's funny. Get my Damn, actually. Oh, I didn't know that was bad. That is actually embarrassing. Now, just for a little bit of context here, Bradley Martin is playing a song that Stable Ronaldo sang on his stream as a little joke. Now, obviously, Stable Ronaldo jokes back with him and he takes his hat, and you can instantly see the insecurity flare up on Bradley Martin's face. Now, sure, yeah, this guy clearly doesn't have a lot of hair. He has a receding hairline. He doesn't look the best without a hat, but that is an embarrassing reaction. I mean, slapping someone like that isn't only a true presentation on how you actually are as a person, but it also shows how little control you have over yourself. I mean, Bradley Martin must be so unbelievably insecure that just a small little thing of someone like Stable Ronaldo, who is like five, six, maybe 70 kilos, and he's literally a Fortnite streamer. I mean, what the fuck bradley Ma? like like that's actually embarrassing the fact that you've had to slap that guy to show how amazingly cool and strong you are and that yeah you know your hairline doesn't matter it's cringe anyway after this event stable ronaldo obviously left and he spoke a little bit about it on his stream and i think he was quite mature about it sure i don't think he should have slapped me i'm sure he regrets it maybe not regret is the right word but like wish he didn't do that but like technically we went into his spot where we collabed with him and then we disrespected him, I guess, by taking off his hat. So, I mean, he has the right to do what he wants. Sure, he could, sure, I could probably fucking sue him, but I'm not doing that. Like, I don't fucking care. To be honest, if I was in Stable Ronaldo's position, I would actually get some sort of legal institution involved here because Bradley Martin keeps on getting away with shit like this. It's non stop now, and now he's actually got true proof and true evidence that could potentially get Bradley Martin in a bit of hot water. I mean, sure, Bradley Martin could argue, yes, self-defense. You know, he took my hat, so I slapped him. But when we're talking about self-defense, it has to be in correlation. Like, if someone punches you in the face, you can punch them back. That's self-defense. But if you start beating them and you almost kill them, that's no longer self-defense anymore because you've stepped a line too far. And I think here, Bradley Martin definitely stepped a line too far. It's just I wish that didn't happen because that fucking hurt. <laughs> I feel like I did a good job. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You handled it the right way. I feel like I handled it the mature way. Sure, I, we could have left and it would have been better, but like... I made the most of it, you know? I completely agree with Stable Ronaldo there. Yes, you know, maybe he shouldn't have taken the hat, but it's just a joke. Why the hell should someone get that angry over something as basic as someone taking your hat off? Like, yes, if you're insecure, okay, whatever. Say, like, come on, man, don't be like that. You know, I don't like it. And he would be like, oh, shit, no, sorry, I didn't know it was like that, you know, my fault. But instead, he just fucking smacked him across the side of the head. What kind of fart brain do you have to have to actually react in that kind of way? Because as soon as you do something like that, it instantly kills the vibes. Like, I know Ronaldo here says, oh, you know, I wish she didn't do that because it hurt but he knows that it just completely changed the vibe they will most likely never do a stream ever again unless bradley martin actually decides to apologize but man it is such a shame that this guy does not know how to control his emotions like if stable and had slapped him and he slapped him back okay that is completely fair i completely get it but he took your hat like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yes, it may have been annoying. Yes, it may have hurt your feelings. You don't need to react in that way. Just ask for the fucking hat back and call it a day. Anyway, Bradley Mine, you are a true embarrassment to the content creation realm and also the gym realm as well. There is no world where someone like you with such a social media following and such a huge size as well should be acting like that towards someone else who is not only smaller than you on social media, but also smaller than you in real life. And I fucking hate you. I don't like you. If you want to run up in a boxing match, I will beat the shit out of you. Yes, you may be 260. Yes, you may be six foot. I don't give a flying fuck. I will hurt you. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. See ya. Please subscribe. I'm almost at 300 subs. Yeah, woo.